So everything with the states are now sorted out. Right now I'm going to go out for a ride on the Black Label version 2 so I can give you guys my first impressions of the bike. In particular, I'm going to look at how stiff the bike is, and secondly, if that cranks it is actually as sketch as it looks. So, let's see how the Black Label version 2 rides. This might come as a surprise if you'd watch my previous videos that I've made with State. So far I have about 50 miles on the Black Label version 2, and I must say, I'm kind of liking it. Aluminum frames usually get a bad rap for being really stiff, which means pretty uncomfortable. But the Black Label version 2, it is a stiff bike, and it does feel good to sprint on and climb, but it's not jarring and bone rattling, which is kind of surprising since it does have 23C tires. And whether you think tapered head tubes are just a marketing ploy or whether they're actually a good thing to have on a bike, I for one, I think that the tapered head tube does help in the stiffness department on the front end. And speaking of that front end, it is pretty nice that this bike has a full carbon fork. I personally don't think that there's any difference in ride quality between a carbon and aluminum fork and a full carbon fork, but it does shave weight off of it. The front end also comes equipped with a 31.8 stem, and you can choose either wide risers or compact drop bars. So far, I've only ridden the wide risers, and I must say that they are quite comfortable and it really makes manhandling the bike really easy and a lot of fun. For me the risers have just the right amount of rise and back sweep which makes them pretty dang comfortable and the saddle is also surprisingly comfortable. It looks like it took some inspiration from a Physique Arione. I actually find this saddle more comfortable than a Physique Arione and I have no complaints so far with it. The thing that I was worried about the most was that crank set because it just looks so sparse, but I haven't really felt it flex egregiously while riding. And honestly, as far as stiffness goes, it's totally acceptable. When I get complete bikes out of the box, I look for the things that I would upgrade and the crank set would not be one of them. But what would be one of them are the pedals. I ordered the Odyssey Twisted pedals with hold fast straps, but they mixed up the order and they ended up giving me some well-go pedals and foot straps. Those pedals, I absolutely hated them, and I ended up just putting my clipless pedals on there. So keep in mind, if you want a good pedal setup, State does have that option available to you. They just didn't give it to me even though I ordered it. Now at first, I really disliked the drivetrain. It was crunchy, and the best way that I can describe it is that it felt like there was cereal in the chain. But after riding it for about 40 miles, it seems like the drivetrain has broken in, and it is a lot quieter and runs a lot more smoothly, so no complaints there. And lastly, the wheels are 30 millimeters deep, black label branded lace to sealed bearing Novatec hubs, and it's a pretty fine setup. One thing that is a bit annoying about my particular wheels is that in the rear wheel, inside the walls of the rim, there's a little piece of extra aluminum, and it kind of tinkles around inside when I'm doing maintenance on the drivetrain. Other than that, they accelerate pretty well, and they corner pretty well too. The Black Label version 2 is in an interesting spot as far as aluminum fixed gears go. It's priced at $630, and nothing else really directly competes with it. The closest thing is the Pure Cycles Kirin Pro at $579. But on paper, I think that the black label is a better buy, just because overall the components feel better than average. Now if you go down in price to about $500, there is the Aventon Cordoba. It seems like the Cordoba has very similar specs to the black label, but I've never ridden a Cordoba, so I can't really make a direct comparison to this bike, and that might be the closest contender. Now if you go up in price at around $900, there is the Cinelli Tipo Pista. I think Cinelli's are pretty dang overpriced priced and that the state would beat it. Something that it might not beat at that price though is the state undefeated. The undefeated comes with Omniums, and Omniums are nice. And there's other small differences between components, but it's tough for me to say whether that undefeated would be worth 
250-ish dollars more than the black label. The real question is, is it worth your money? So far, I think that it is a compelling buy. I can't say definitively for sure because I've only had 40-ish miles with it, but they do offer something unique at that $630 price point. Overall, the black label is pretty dang solid in my opinion, and it has some pretty nicely specced components, and I've very little complaints about it. Of course, my opinion may change when I do the full review, but those are my first impressions of the bike. If you're interested in one, I think it's a decent buy so far. I just wouldn't order it from State directly, and I would get it from a bike shop that can build it up and deal with State if anything happens to go awry. Now, if you ride a Black Label version 2, please do let me know in the comments and what you think about that bike so we can help out other people that are looking for more information before I do the full review. And fixie famous shout outs to Mikey Sincox, Matt Ford, Ozzy Virto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Dravecki, Robert Terpshaw, Blue Tick Hound, Dorella01, Evil Ernie, Mark Vandeventer, and Dazeel for making these fix your videos possible through their support on Patreon. And with that, if you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now, get on your bike and ride it because life is short but don't make it shorter so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.